Let me just say, I am so freaking excited about this collection. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am sure that you saw by the title, but today we're going to be talking about the new Wet n Wild collection from Nightmare Before Christmas. This thing is so freaking massive. I did go ahead and buy the entire collection. I did purchase mine off of Amazon. As I am seeing it right now, it is retailing for $79.99, listing price $85, so still not bad. This is what it looks like in inside. I just realized that we're probably missing it's the mascara. I'll grab that in a second. But this is pretty much everything in the collection. I think there are a couple of shadow sticks and a setting powder that did not come in the collection, but I really don't care. I just thought it was super excited. And honestly, this box is really freaking nice. It's just so cute and I love how it is shaped. Let's go ahead and just get started. I am basically going to try to use every product that we have in here. We are going to be starting with the Sticky Serum Primer. This is a 5% niacinamide primer. It does have a nice green color to it. I am just going to start applying that to my face. It is is reminding me a bit of the e.l.f. slash milk makeup primer. Kind of hydrating. One of the things that I'm also really excited with this collection is that they do have some new formulas. So I think that is super exciting. So I do believe this is a new primer. I do know that the mascara is a tubing mascara. So that's super exciting. And I just thought that we could really just talk about all the formulas as I am trying them out. As far as I can tell, this is kind of like that same normal sticky primer that is going to help your foundation to stay on. Now that all of my complexion is complete, we are just going to go ahead and just start kind of going through this set in a way like as I would normally do my makeup. So next up, I feel like I would go in with the contour. One thing to note, if you do buy this collection, the items are quite hard to take out of the plastic. I've been having to use like little tools and stuff to pop them out because my fingers just will not work. So one thing I would definitely say, I do not feel like the shade, I think they probably did the best that they could ish i don't know if maybe they just needed to not include a shade or if they just needed to make several and have that if somebody bought the pr box that you could just pop it out that's one of the biggest negatives i would say that i have seen with wet weld over the years is that their shade selection tends to be not great. My biggest reason why I will use them is I will not generally use them for complexion, but I will use them for eyeshadow palettes because I think it is very important to still show things that are more affordable and things that I think people would be curious about. The complexion, they definitely suck at. Another big thing I would definitely say a flaw is that the highlighter is literally white. Pure white. And I think that, sure, for Halloween, but the fact that it is pure white, it reminds me of their milk pencil. Like, they could have just added that. Or also, another perfect example would be that they could have added in the two color sticks and they chose not to. For what it is, I do think that this product does blend in very easily. I think it looks nice on me. Okay, so moving on to cheeks. So there is a ton, 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 ton of cheek products from this collection. So we do have the little blush highlighter palette. And then we do have the three cheek and lip stains. I do think I'm gonna go ahead and just use maybe one of the shades as a blush, one of the liquid shades of the blush. I am planning on using this as my lip color, so we'll definitely be checking this one out. And then I'm gonna be using one of the powder blushes on the other side of my face. I'm gonna go in with Shock Value. So I do think the blushes are really cute. A part of me was a little hoping that, that these would be a matte finish. And what I mean by that is set down to a matte budge proof formula. I really hope I did not just put on way too much. I'm just going to use the Real Technique sponge to tap this sucker in. That's tapping in nicely. Ooh. So that's really pretty. And in all honesty, I guess you might say it is kind of that matte look but it is not set down to a complete matte finish like a liquid lipstick might do. 
for a little bit of blush. I think I'm just going to go in with that center shade for the powder. Center slash a little bit of the shade next to it because it's kind of hard to not pick up both. This gold shade, I don't really know. I might try it as a highlighter. We'll see because there is not a highlighter for this. There is like a body glitter, so maybe we'll try even that as a highlighter. Definitely more pinky. So far, I am liking these cream things a lot more. I think they're super easy, and I'm gonna assume that they're gonna sell them individually. They pray so that you can kind of pick the best shade for yourself. There also is a beautiful orange, which is called On Lockdown, and that deepest shade barrel of scares. And they do match, which I do absolutely love, the little trio of characters. I think that is super cute. Moving on, should I try a little bit of this gold? Let's just try it. Ooh, 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 ooh. She is pigmented. Let's go with my sponge a little bit just to stamp that on. That is what that looks like. Not too shabby. I think we are gonna go ahead though and try out this product here. So this is that body glitter. Glitter body illuminator. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a shake. It looks gorgeous in the pan. Let's go ahead. So there is definitely some sparkles in here. I don't know if it'll be able to show up. I don't know. Hang on. Okay, so I just hit the light. There we go. Maybe we're good. So I just hit the light. So this is what the body illuminator is like. I feel like, honestly, it just looks wet. Okay, so for ease, I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep the light off behind me. Let's go ahead and just try this just for fun. See, it's a little bit of a highlighter. I'm just going to tap on this other side here. I feel like I can definitely see the glow from it. And I do think this will be a really pretty product for some glow. I feel like I just wish a lot of the times these products to me, they just look a little wet and then they dry and the glitter is just not enough. I want it to be, like, I feel like there's those glitter poofs or whatever that are like super bright. Granted, this is supposed to be a glitter illuminator. Okay. You know what I think I'm going to go ahead and do? I want to go ahead and show you what the two lip oils look like. Um, I'm just gonna rub off a little bit of foundation that I have on my lips. And then these are supposed to be color changing. Up first, this is called Too Faced. Cute little name. It does have, I believe it is the mayor. The smell is hard to say. I can't tell if there's like chocolate. It's almost giving. If anybody's ever smelled those Hershey's peppermint candy canes, it's like that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply to one half of my lips. There's definitely a bit of a very light amount of tangle, but I feel like it's supposed to be some sort of a mint, but that's what I'm getting, that synthetic, like, chocolatey kind of mint. And it is just looking like this kind of pink color. I think it's really pretty, and it's actually non-sticky. It does have that cooling kind of vibe. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go in with this beautiful baby, which is called Truth or Scare. So, Oogie Boogie is the face of this one. The scent is the same. I'm gonna die if these are the same colors. This side, though, so far, feels a bit more sticky than the purple one. To be honest, I feel like, mm, maybe on camera, I feel like this side, weirdly enough, is looking a bit more, like, purpley than this side. So far, I do like this actual purple one. I think it just feels a lot nicer than this side. But let's go ahead and move on to the part that I am super excited about, which is the eyeshadow palette. This is a 16 color eye and face palette. So it does look like they have given every single shade a name, which is super cute. It is stamped on the back. I do have Milani eyeshadow primer on to my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and dip with this tan shade here for right. So far, the shadow is laying down really nicely, blending out very softly. I don't know if I feel like this palette is super inspired to me for the colors of this movie. I do wish that there was a more limey green. I do feel like this shade here, which when my eyes look at it, doesn't look like a green, but I think might supposed to be a green if I'm correct, the shade of Frog's Breath. If you do not know, I'm a little bit colorblind, so I definitely could be wrong. Run some underneath the eyes as well. Trying to keep that lip color in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and dip in with a little bit of black. I am taking this black, stamping it just on that outside color part of my eye. 
I will be using this to create kind of a wing shape. I feel like that is very, very black. So I do want to take kind of just a little smudgy brush. I'm going to dip in with that same black just to run a little bit underneath our lower lash line. I am going to mimic the same area as I have on the top. Following our wing shape, I'm just going to connect to the top. Next, I'm going to dip in with this longer pencil -y type of brush, and I'm going to go ahead and dip in with the navy blue, and I'm just going to stamp that just along the edges of the black. I am just using that shade just to buffer on the edge of that black, and that is looking nice. Taking a smaller version of that blending brush, I'm going to dip in with a bit more of that navy and do the same thing on our bottom lash line. Next, I'm going to dip in with our kind of like a pinky, purpley shade. Just apply pretty much the same areas that we did this navy blue. So far, this palette is so pretty. And the shades are just blending out really nice. I have not used a Wet n Wild palette and honestly a really, really long time, but I am really impressed. Just to soften everything out, I'm going to take a clean Melt 818, just around the edges. This palette is already blending itself out so easily, but this will help you have an even easier seamless blend. Just look at how pretty that is. I'm feeling so conflicted. Why do I want to do two different things? So what I'm feeling conflicted by is this stunning, stunning gold glitter yellow shade, which I know is not for the eyes, but it's really pretty. And I think it'll be really bright and colorful. Or this shimmer baby blue, which when I did swatch it, is a really pretty shade, but I really feel like the yellow is winning. I do remember it not being very pigmented, or it's pigmented, but it's it needs like a base underneath. It needs something to adhere the glitter. Now, I do believe that they did say that the glitters do not need a base. I don't know if I fully agree. As I said, they are quite flaky, so I do feel like they might fall off. Just to be extra secure, I would use a glitter primer. So this is the NYX one. I am taking just a flat brush from Glamlight, and I'm just going to apply a nice, pretty thin layer. And let's go ahead and dip in. This is picking up pretty well. I don't know if we're going to have to layer. It definitely does not really have the colored base underneath it. It literally just feels like, I don't know how, they just got a bunch of glitter just to like stick into this pot really without a base. Or maybe like I said, that base is underneath. I just haven't reached it yet. I'm going to take my finger a little bit just to tap everything in. But I think that looks super really stunning. I'm super obsessed. So we're going to go ahead and move on with the rest of the look for right now. Let's go ahead and move on to two liquid eyeliners. So unfortunately, I do not feel like either of these are going to work for our look, but I still want to use them because why not? I'm so actually very excited to play around with these with different looks because, you know, just because something comes to collection doesn't mean we have to use it for every single look. So this is the first one, which is called Dare to Play. This is the one I'm the most excited about. It is a green liquid eyeliner. And then there is another one, which is called Is Zero to Hero. This is like a glittery eyeliner. So let me go ahead, apply the green one. It also has the Oogie Boogie. I absolutely love that. So I'm just going to apply a thin line. Maybe not that thin. So the pigmentation is there. I will almost be curious to go in with a second coat just to see how it looks. I do wish that it was a bit more limey green granted. I know that I'm putting this over a dark base of eyeshadow, but I will be curious. So let's go in with zero to hero. This just might be one of those glare liners, but I'm not sure. Ooh, this is interesting. So this is like a milky white light color. I don't know why I thought there would be glitter in this. It's just a very like light shade. It's almost very ghost-like, which I think is really interesting and smart for this collection. Is this like a gray? Maybe it's a silver. I don't know. Let me go ahead and go back in with a second coat of each of these just to see what we can get built up. So already I can tell the green definitely is doing better with a second coat. I do wish the shine of this was a bit more intense, but that's still really stunning. And then I do think that I'm right that Zero to Hero is building up to be a pretty still pseudo sheer, which makes sense for that 
ghost kind of vibe, but kind of like a silver, which is really nice. So these are pretty cool to me. So they did also launch with Just Have a Sally. So this is their tubing mascara that they are, I believe, first time launching with this collection. It is just called Doll Eyes. Let me just curl my lashes real quick. I will be honest, I did go ahead and already test out this mascara a couple times. So as I'm applying, I will kind of give you my thoughts. The wand is really small, very fine. So, so far I am really liking this for my bottom lashes. I don't know if it's as good as my normal TV mascara. You know, maybe what we'll do is I'll use this one on one side. And then we'll do my normal Tube Mascara on the other side. The only thing I will say about this one that I appreciate for a Tube Mascara is I do feel like I can go in with more coats. Whereas my normal Tube Mascara, I feel like it's like a one and done. Once it's there, you kind of can't go back and add more. Or you can, but then your lashes really start to stick together. Whereas this really makes them separate. And as far as I could also tell, I've had zero flaking, any issues like that. So I do appreciate that. So I did just apply a layer of the Milani Tubing Mascara. I do kind of feel what I stood by. I do think that the black is a lot more intense on this side than on this side. Granted, they're just calling this shade Doll Eyes, so it doesn't really say an actual shade. Again, I don't know if you can see, the only thing I will definitely say is separation-wise, this side, the Milani tubing, is already wanting to clump together. I really don't like that, versus this side is nice and separate. I would almost be very curious to try with a layer of this one, the Doll Eyes by Wet n Wild, and then possibly go in with a layer of the Milani. Still, I'm a little scared. They'd kind of come up together. I feel like that is just the normal that I have noticed with this one that I don't love as much, but it still is a really good mascara for just, you know, whenever. Like I said, I'm loving this one for my bottom lashes. So, we are starting to near the end of our collection. Let's go ahead and pop it back in with the lips. So, both of our lip oils here, you will have to tell me, I feel like they look identical. Honestly, I'm still gonna say what I said. They both feel very comfortable. Minty, completely gone. Sticky on this side, still not on this side. So again, just to remind you, left side is Oogie Boogie. Sorry if the camera is reversed. And right side is the mare. I like the mare. Oogie Boogie is a bit more sticky. And they are both the same shade for what I can see. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. So I went ahead and just lined my lips. This is the Milani After Dark Eyeliner. I use it as lip liner. Absolutely love it for any time I wanna do a dark lip. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with this lip color here, Barrel of Scares. I know it probably doesn't match the eye look, but you know what, it's what we got. We're just gonna go with it. So I'm thinking of starting out kinda of just like a thin layer of this. Straight out of the tube though, vampy. The smell almost reminds me of like, it's not Noxzema. What are those? You know those like pads you can use for your face if you have like acne? That's the smell I'm getting. No stick at all. So this is one coat. Like I said, no stick at all. I feel like we are getting pretty good pigmentation. It is a teeny sheer in certain areas, but honestly, not horrible and very, very comfortable. It does feel greasy, so I will be curious if this would be the type of product that might ease out of your lip lines if you do have that issue. I really appreciate that there's no stick. So let me go ahead, try to get a butt ton more product to see how much we can build up. All right, here we are at full pigmentation. Feeling is exactly the same. I was shocked that it is so lightweight. Literally so lightweight, I appreciate that. Let's do a little kiss test. I've expected massive amount of transfer, and it really does take off the bulk of that, so definitely just knowing, probably similar to a gloss, this product will very much transfer, and like a blush slash stain, it will leave that stain behind. So, very cute there. But let's go ahead and round this up with my thoughts. So I think we'll go ahead and just walk through each product. It's hard to say starting out number one with the sticky primer, but I really do like it. I actually was wearing a different look a little bit ago. I did film another video, had to wipe it off, reapply my foundation, and it went on like a dream. So, so far, really liking this one. Hopefully it's pretty inexpensive, but the packaging is super cute. 
and it's just a really good formula. The, as you already know, the little duo thing, do better Wet n Wild. The shading should be a lot better in my opinion. The packaging is super cute, obviously, so if you are the lucky person that this does match, feel free to pick it up if you really want to. But, like I said, Wet n Wild, do better. This is not made for everybody, so I would definitely call that one a pass. Moving on, and I apologize, not going in any particular order. These little glowy things, honestly, would also be another pass. They really, they don't really do much. It's on my cheek. There's a little bit of glow. Not a lot. And if anything, it might just be an oily looking glow. So it's not even like a good glow. I wish the glitter was more apparent. So I will definitely go more for a powder highlight that has that glitter presence. Moving on, our two, I know I kind of already gave you my little review, but our two lip oils both look like the exact same color to me. The Mare is by far my favorite. Oogie Boogie was a little more sticky. Both same shade. It's completely up to you. Like I said, do have a bit of that minty taste, but it does dissipate. The three products that I would say are definitely my favorite out of this collection. I do love this little blush lip trio. This is really cute, and I love how it matches. I do think that there is a variety of shades that can work for everybody. I do feel like the shade can obviously be built up super deep and rich. These shades as well can also work for different skin tones. I think that everybody can kind of really mix and match and make it work. So this is something, this is like A+. Plus. I love this. This is so amazing. And they need to do more of this. The mascara, like I said, lower lash line mascara, it's fine. Not anything super exciting. I do like the fact that it separates. But at least for me, I like a more, like, lengthening and separating, you know, a more Kapow mascara. And that's just kind of, eh. But for a lower lash line mascara, I would pick it up. Because it is simple, it's not too much, and I appreciate the fact that the wand was small enough that I could do my lower lash line and not get it all over my lid. As for the two liners, let's just be honest. I feel like this one is cute, the one that has zero. But it's just not as impressive. You probably can't even see it. It's like a very soft silver. Not as impressive. Oogie Boogie is a more cooler shade. I do wish that they had a bit more green in this whole collection. But, eh, you know, it is what it is in that case. But I do think that that shade is a pretty fun one if you're looking for something fun. Let's go ahead and jump into our powder products. So we do have our blush trio here. I don't know how I fully feel about these. I think these are okay. It's kind of funny. Now that I have it here... That reminds me a bit of this blush trio here that just came out from NYX. It's not exactly the same, but I think I like the NYX one more. Pretty cute idea, but I at least prefer that these are split pans, and I do feel like the palette is big enough that I'm able to get into the different shades. As you saw when I tried to use that orange shade, it was hard for me, this, like, terracotta. It was hard for me. I ended up getting this, like, purpley one that I didn't want. So, yeah, it's just... It's okay. I'd honestly probably pass on that one. The eyeshadow palette. I'm pseudo split on this. I do think it is really pretty. I absolutely love the look that I created. Like I said, the formula is A+. Plus. So definitely look at this palette. Decide at least if these are shades that you would like. I do from swatches, and you will see, or already did see, I do wish that the shimmers were a bit more impactful. I do appreciate the glitters that are in here, even though technically they probably are a pressed glitter. They do not have that normal feeling, which I do appreciate. Again, they are not considered eye safe, so, you know, use your better judgment on that one. I wouldn't probably fully recommend, but I do think that this is a pretty cute palette, so I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle. But like I said, if you were to pick up anything from this collection, if I were to pick up anything from this collection, my main one would be these blushes. Pick whichever one you want, or all three if you want the whole collection. I believe that is going to be it for me for today. I really do hope that this video was helpful if you were curious about this collection. Let me know your thoughts, and again, make sure to subscribe or tune in on Wednesday to see see my other second look with this palette. Okay, I'm gonna let you all go. Have a wonderful rest of your day or whatever time it is for you, and I will see you on my next one. Okay, bye.